All right, what's up, everybody? Um, <clears throat> one of my uh, subscribers uh, is either a subscriber or he's a he comment. He, well, he definitely commented, but I don't know if he's a subscriber or not. Uh, but anyway, he mentioned uh, he mentioned going to a place called uh, Games Bazaar or the Gaming Bazaar or Game Trading Bazaar, something like that. It's in Drake, Mass. So right now we're uh, 20 miles away. Uh, off of 495, it's about 510 in the afternoon, um, and we're heading that way to see what the hell there is to see, uh, so pretty cool stuff, um, I called earlier because it's about a two and a half hour drive from where I live, and I wanted to make sure that they had, you know, complete in box Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and 64 games, I didn't ask about Game Boy or anything because if I thought if they didn't have a lot of Nintendo or Super Nintendo or Nintendo 64, then there's really no reason for me to drive all the way down there. Now, the woman on the phone said that there was um, Nintendo, a uh, ton of Nintendo games, uh, which is good. Uh, she said there was not a lot of Super Nintendo, but there was more Nintendo 64 than there was Super Nintendo. It's starting to rain again here. Uh, raining on and off now I wonder if I gotta yeah I'm just passing a sign for Bolton Mass um, I had actually a friend uh, played baseball with in, uh, in college named Jameson I think his last name was Rigoli I forget what his last name was but he was from Bolton Mass uh, but anyway uh, it's coming down here and uh, it's coming down here now and uh, you know but anyway, uh, I'm excited to see what I can find there. Drake at Mass. Uh, it's called the Gaming uh, Gaming Game Trading Bazaar, or something along those lines. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, uh, you know, I, I don't really like driving this far. New York City's one thing because I know what I'm getting at these places. I've been there before. I was filming uh, City of Mercy, so I had been there, so I knew what I was to expect. But when you drive this far and you go to these places, it's a hit or miss type of situation. If you collect CIB like I do, if you're just collecting those carts, then, you know, fuck it. But I don't. I, I don't see the value of collecting those carts. I want to have the manual. I want to have the uh, box as well. I want it to be complete. I'm old school like that. Um, but, you know, to each his own when they collect. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for this next part of the video, where we're going to go right on into what I found. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this or not, see me. Let me put on the light here. So uh, coming back from uh, I'm coming back from the gaming bazaar there, uh, gaming trade uh, in Drake. It. I'm, I'm botching the name. But uh, you guys will see, the, the obviously, the beginning of the video. You'll see the, uh, the correct name of the store. Um, yeah, it was an awesome place. Guy was guy who owns it, really cool. Really cool dude. Uh, knows his stuff. Gave me a bunch of discounts for not only buying in bulk, but he found out I drove the three hours to get there. So uh, shout out to him. Shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, the subscriber who uh, commented the name of the store. Um, when I get the, uh, when I do the actual, uh, pickup vids, and I show, excuse me, when I do the actual, uh, game, uh, games that I pick, I, I grabbed, uh, I'll, I'll tell you who it was, I'll give a shout out the proper way, I just can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm an hour and a half from my house, um, all in all, really cool stuff I picked up, some stuff that I needed for the PS2 that I couldn't find, um, anywhere, so that was cool. I got some, uh, you know, odds and ends and things like that. So when I uh, do redo the game room uh, and move to the other room uh, that I'm that I'm building or that I'm redoing now, uh, there'll be a ton of st uh, places for the stuff I picked up. So uh, until then, like I said, I'm about an hour, and f maybe an hour and fifteen minutes now away from the uh, away from my house. Uh, I'll get in and I'll start. Uh, uh, filming the uh, the pickups and uh, you guys will see them so uh, until then uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned all right everyone welcome to another <clears throat> video game pickup video 
Uh, went to Bizarre Game Trading in Draken, Massachusetts, about two and a half hours away from my house. And I want to talk about the subscriber who actually uh, told me about this place. Uh, let me get to YouTube real quick here because I won't, I'm going to botch his name, so I got to look actually at the uh, at the uh, at the video here. Let me see here what we got going on. But this is the uh, the guy who told me all about it. <clears throat> all right. So let me do this. Let me mute that. All right, so the person who told me about it was Stephen Polizzotti, okay? If I pronounced your name right, great. If I didn't, I'm sorry. But Stephen Polizzotti told me about Bizarre Games and Drake It. So it's called Bizarre Game Trading. And, uh, again, the uh, guy who owns the place is awesome. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Gave me a great deal on a whole bunch of stuff. Really nice guy. Uh, hard-working guy. Uh, check it out if you're in that area. Uh, you know, if you're in the Haverhill, uh, Drake it, uh, area of Haverhill's near Drake it, I think it is as I was passing by. I'm not familiar with that area, so, again, if my geography's off, I apologize. But check it out, man. Not only does he, he know a lot about games and, <clears throat> excuse me, and things of that nature, uh, his wife is an unbelievable artist. I mean, unbelievable. And, um, I'm going to buy some... When I, when I redo the game room so I have the two game rooms, I'm going to buy some artwork from her. And actually, uh, and, and you're going to see it when, when the game room happens. So, But anyway, let's go right on into the games itself. Um, so I got, some, I got some unique things. Before we get into the games I picked up at Bizarre Game Trading, I want to talk about the games I forgot, to, the things I forgot to mention from a couple of the other videos. Now, when I picked up Crash Bandicoot, uh, the... Uh, the uh, remix there. I ended up finding this. This was a pre-order bonus. It's a Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Aku Aku keychain. Um, I did not realize I'd gotten this, so I just wanted to show that real quick. So that's out of the way. And then, um, from the previous eBay pickup video, there were two games uh, that I didn't show. One was because I thought I already had it and bought a duplicate, and the other one was because I thought it already came and it had not. So, first up, I want to show you this. Now, this, I actually have the Crash Bandicoot itself. I have the Super Pack. I do not, did not have the Spyro and Crash, or in this case, Crash and Spyro uh, duplicate, or excuse me, Crash and, <laughs> duplicate, Crash and Spyro um, Super Pack. So, there's two Super Games here from Sierra, Spyro Season of Ice, and Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. Uh, it's only for the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Micro, and then the Nintendo DS with a GBA link cable, not compatible with other Game Boy systems. One game pack, two huge adventures. You have Spyro, Season of Ice. An evil wizard has kidnapped all the fairies in the Dragon Realms. It's up to Spyro to save them. And in Crash Bandicoot, the huge adventure, Neocortex has shrunk the Earth to the size of a wampa fruit. This will be Crash's hugest adventure yet. You can go to SpyroTheDragon.com and CrashBandicoot.com. At the time, you could. I don't know if uh, they're still there. Maybe they are. But anyway, this is one of the games I picked up from eBay that I did not realize I didn't have. I thought I had already bought it. So I was pissed, but good thing I didn't. And this one, I have the second of the two. I finally got the first of the two. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Pack. This is number one from Konami. Uh, it in, includes Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Reshift of Destruction and Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. And it includes two limited edition official game cards. And you get two games on one game pack. This is actually... No, this isn't sealed. The second one is sealed. Um... But anyway, only for Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, not compatible with other Game Boy systems, GB Link Cable compatible. Two exciting Yu-Gi-Oh! adventures in one package. So you got Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshift of Destruction. Hear me, strong duelist. You must stop the Destroyer and save the world from darkness. Yami, Yugi, and the Millennium Puzzle have vanished. Uncover the shocking truth as this original story unfolds. And in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, Yu-Gi-Oh! revolves into a card-battling RPG. Join the fierce competition for the sacred Egyptian god cards. Dive into a story full of unexpected twists based on the Yu-Gi-Oh! TV series. Multiplayer game uh, games require one game pack per player and a Game Boy Advance game when cable sold separately. You can go to konami.com slash gs, and it's from 4KidsTV. So you can go to 4kids.tv. So anyway, this was the second game I forgot to go over in um, from the eBay uh, pickups. 
So now let's go right on into the games I picked up from uh, Bizarre Game Trading in Draken. Um, how am I going to start this off? I guess I'll first start off with the one Dreamcast game I picked up. Now, I'm not sure if I already have this or not. I have a sneaking suspicion I do, but for some reason the app I I'm using says I don't. So I'll trust the app for now, but it's let me down a couple of times. So this is Caesar's Palace 2000 from Interplay by Gamers for Gamers. This is a Millennium Gold Edition, uh, the largest assortment of 3D Caesar's Palace gambling games ever. So Caesar's Empire celebrates a millennium. Here you'll find the largest assortment of heart-pounding 3D gambling games ever under one roof. Experience first-class first action on every visit with the friendliest atmosphere and the most experienced dealers in town. Indulge in world-class gaming action that includes Blackjack, Roulette, Craps, Video Poker, Poker Challenge, Pie Gal Poker, Video Kino, Mini Baccarat, Red Dog, War, and Spanish 21. There's also more. Official Caesars Palace rules. Tutorial is tailored to your ability. Casino odds and payouts verified by Williams Bertram, Ph.D., or William Bertram, Ph.D. Authentic Caesars Palace cards and chips. Keep the cash rolling with an easy loan from the cashier. Here you go behind the velvet ropes and experience the roller coaster ride of a lifetime, and here you can strike Millennium Gold. So, uh, again, Caesars Palace 2000 for the Dreamcast. Next up, we're going to go right to the only uh, Nintendo DS game I got, which is from the Challenge Me series called Challenge Me Math Workout. Are you smart enough to take the challenge of these fun formula and math games from O Games? Okay. And it's a wireless DS single card, download, play two to four. Relax and improve your math brain with challenging number games like Formulate and Hidden Logic. Pick up for a quick play to relax and improve the mind or take on the challenge mode for the ultimate brain workout. Play against family and friends over DS wireless communications. So, uh, again, it's Challenge Me Math Workout from O Games. Pretty easy stuff. Nothing too, uh, nothing too complicated there. Now, we're next going to go into the PS1 games I picked up. First up, Lethal Enforcers 1 and 2, arcade classics from Konami. Uh, Lethal Enforcers, it's compatible with the Justifier, which I actually have to pick up. Um, so you chemical plant sabotage, Chinatown drug dealers, stage holdup bank robbery, train robbery. Uh, you can go to the Konami.com. But it's pretty easy stuff. Uh, Lethal Enforcers 1 and 2 for the PS1. Okay, next up for the PS1, I finally had this. Uh, it's the greatest hits, uh, the Lost World Jurassic Park Special Edition from DreamWorks Interactive and EA. Now, a lot of you who have been following the channel for a long time know that I don't collect Greatest Hits games. However, this special edition is the, the, only, uh, the only way it was released was as a Greatest Hits. So that's an exception that I make. Uh, but you're the T-Rex. Enter the Lost World and discover an untamed island ruled by dinosaurs. Stalk, track, and fight in an expansive 3D environment where natural selection is the only law. Hunt or be hunted. So your features, the new features are T-Rex level. A mid-level checkpoints, new, stronger, and longer lives. Control five different characters, including the T-Rex, Raptor, and Compi. 31 intense levels, 20 species of dinosaurs. 3D world with multiple paths and hidden areas. So, we have the Lost World Jurassic Park Special Edition for the PS1. Next up for the PS1, I was able to pick this up. Pretty psyched about this. Been looking for this for a while. Grand Theft Auto, the Director's Cut. Two discs, two countries, one low price. Uh, you get Grand Theft Auto and GTA London 1969 from Rockstar. It includes both Grand Theft Auto and GTA Mission Pack Number 1 London 1969. Experience every classic car chase you've ever seen. Race at breakneck speed through three immense living cities in the U.S. Then visit London in 1969 and take that over as well. You'll outrun and outwit rival gang members, hired killers, and elite police forces. So here it shows you Grand Theft Auto, and here it shows you Grand Theft Auto London 1969. Hundreds of missions featuring every kind of illegal activity, 6,000 miles of streets, back alleys, bridges, and dead ends, complete freedom of movement and mission structure, no fixed track, you choose where you want to go, outrageous Hollywood-style car handling, 120 minutes of award-winning musical soundtrack including SKA, reggae, hip-hop, house, metal, and country, and classical. Grand Theft Auto, London, 1969. So from Rockstar Games, we have the director's cut. Pick that up for the PS1. And the last game for the PS1 I was able to grab, really happy about picking this up. It is the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition, uh, which has 1, 2, and 3. And uh, Lara Croft is our kind of action hero, says Rolling Stone. Discover why over 25 million people worldwide go adventuring with Lara Croft. Explore ancient ruins and fight off deadly enemies with fearless acrobatic style. 
in exotic locations across the globe. So here it shows you a screenshot of Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, and Tomb Raider 3. But I got the collector's edition uh, for that. We go to the PS2 now, and couldn't find this forever. As ridiculous as this may sound, but I found World Championship cards. It is iToy USB camera enhanced. It's from Crave Entertainment. So you got Bridge, Hearts, Cribbage, Solitaire, and more. There's over 33 card games. If we go to the back, uh, try your hand at over 33 classic card games from the publisher of the best-selling poker video game, World Championship Poker. World Championship cards includes over 33 classic card games, Bridge, Gin, Rummy, Spades, Hearts, and more. Challenge your family and friends to prove who is the real card shark. Create your own custom characters with variations of skin tone, hair, clothes, hats, and personalities. Compatible for online play with World Championship cards, PlayStation 2 computer entertainment system users, with PSP, PlayStation Portable system users. You can go to uh, Crave, from Crave Entertainment, you can go to CraveGames.com. World Championship cards. Cannot believe couldn't find that for a while. Was able to finally find that. Next up, I have, I think, the collector's edition or whatever, the advanced edition of this, but I finally found the original by itself, Sopranos Road to Respect uh, from HBO and THQ, Earn Your Cut, Enter the Dangerous World of the Sopranos through a new storyline voiced by the show's key cast members. Here, no method of intimidation is too brutal on your path to get made. Punishing combat system in an array of environmental weapons. So you can go to THQ.com, Sopranos Road to Respect. I don't think you can go to THQ.com, I think they fucking went out of business. Uh, actually, the more I think about it. And then I couldn't find this for a while, but I was able to find finally find this. This is called Gradius 3 and 4. Okay, from Konami. You can go to Konami.com. Shoot the Core. The ultimate arcade shooter is back with two perfect conversions and extras rolled into one adrenaline-pumping game. Are you ready for insane weapon selections? Fire uh, fiercest boss enemies and two of the most challenging shooters ever made. Here's your chance, Ace. So, it shows you innovative enemies, uh, vibrant environments... Um, exciting explosive action and fight huge boss enemies, which you can't see right there. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right. The Ultimate Arcade Shooter is back with two perks. Oh, I already read that. Uh, vast array of upgradable weapons and enemies. All new CG movies for both Gradius 3 and Gradius 4. Extra added options not found in the arcade versions and high difficulty levels provide hours of challenge. So finally picked up Gradius 3 and 4. Pretty pumped about that. So that's it for the... Oh, no, it's not it for the PS2. I lied. This I'm really actually happy to finally get. Um, two of these, really. The first one is sealed. Um, I'm pumped. This is rare to find this uh, sealed. Find it, period, is, is worth a lot, but sealed is something else. So Burnout Anthology, okay, you get Burnout... Uh, take down Burnout Dominator and Burnout Revenge. I actually have Burnout Dominator from when I wrote uh, reviews for Game Shark. Uh, when they were in business as a uh, video game website from Criterion Games and EA. So, winner of back-to-back -back Racing Game of the Year awards, R rule the road, dominate rivals, and lay waste to traffic in three of the most chaotic crash-and-burn racing games ever. Burnout Dominator, the most intense burnout yet. Experience the thrill of boost chaining for outrageous speed. Burnout Revenge, forgiveness is for losers, aggression is a key to progression. And Burnout 3, takedown, don't fight traffic, destroy it. Cruise the world's biggest wrecks in crash mode. Or create the world's biggest wrecks in crash mode. You can go to CriterionGames.com. So again, sealed, by the way, Burnout Anthology. So I'm really pumped to find that. Not only find it, but to find it sealed is something else. And then the last PS2 game I have is another collection that I needed. Need for Speed Collector Series. It gives you Need for Speed Underground, Need for Speed Underground 2, and Need for Speed Most Wanted from EA. And on the back here... Need for Speed Underground, tune your ride to perfection by winning hundreds of upgrade parts, then go underground for an action-packed driving experience. Need for Speed Underground 2, build your dream car, then challenge street kings, discover hidden shops, and establish your rep in a massive free-roaming city. And Need for Speed Most Wanted, go head-to-head -head with tuners, exotics, and muscle cars, elude rivals, and evade cops in high-intensity pursuits to become the most, no most notorious street racer. So I'll throw that over here. Able to... Grab that. I'm really pumped about that. Let me fix that. There we go. Okay, now, uh, I got one Sega Genesis game. I needed this. It did not come with the instructions, unfortunately, so I'll just show you the game, and when the instructions come in, I'll actually read the box. But here we have Richard Scary from Sega Club, Richard Scary's Busy Town, um, and that's pretty much that. So I'm going to put that to the side because I need the instructions for that. I picked up a Sega CD game. Now, I actually have the sealed for the Sega CD 32X. 
but this is the original Sega CD version of uh, Slam City with Scottie Pippen over two and a half hours of full motion video. So I picked that up from Digital Pictures. Um, and it's pretty cool if I open this up. Alright, there's the manual, but if I open this up, this is the interesting thing. See this here? I have no idea what's inside. I don't know if it's just empty or or what. I mean, I, I want to open it just to see, but I also don't want to ruin the box. So, let's see what I can find. I just opened it. Let's see what's inside there. Nothing. It's empty. So, oh, there go all the DV all the games. So, I don't know if this was a if there was something in there to begin with. It would be cool if somebody in the comment section below can actually tell me because if something did come in there, um, obviously it's not complete because I need whatever that was. So let me uh, put this back together. But that's the Sega CD game I got. Uh, I needed that. Throw that over here now. All right, next up, we're going to go right to the Wii. I got a pretty damn good deal. It gave me a good deal all the way. Um, but... Especially on these two games. These are sealed copies. Brand new. I have Sonic and the Black Knight. And I also picked up Sealed, uh, which I already have these games, but I figured for the price he gave me, I might as well buy them brand new and replace the, the, you know, the used ones. Uh, this is uh, Tron Evolution Battle Grids. So I was able to pick both of these up. Um, sealed for unbelievable prices. Again, guys, check this guy out. Uh, if you buy in... But now, I got the discount... Uh, one, he gave me a little bit of a discount because I drove so far, but he, which was, uh, I didn't even ask for that. I mean, it was pretty cool of him. But he does a buy in bulk discount. He gives you a good deal. So if you're buying a lot of stuff, uh, you know, he's going to give you, he's going to knock some, some, some money off, which is awesome. And then the last game for the Wii I picked up was Smarty Pants, Trivia Fun for Everyone from EA. This is actually was not on my list. I must have overlooked it. So it's a good thing I was there and I picked this up because I would have had it on my list had I realized this. But here, prove you're the smarty pants. 20,000 age-appropriate questions in eight categories. Uh, crank the spinner, raise your hands, and dance your way to victory. You can go to smartypants.ea.com. So from EA, we have smarty pants. Trivia fun for everyone for the Wii. All right, next up, I want to quickly show you guys this. This was really cool to find. Um, this is a complete in box Sega Gear to Gear cable for the Game Gear. It's like the gambling cable for the Game Boy, but for the Game Gear. For intense head to head at competition, link two game, links two Game Gears for competitive play. For use with specially designed Game Gear titles, see individual software packages for two player option information. For use exclusively with Game Gear from Sega. So this is awesome. Little nice piece of gaming history I can uh, find. It's actually complete, which is awesome. It may even be new. I'm not positive on that. Uh, and then I just want to show you this before we get to the good stuff. Uh, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. I picked this up. Uh, it's Ryu. It's an Amiibo from Super Smash Brothers. So I'll be putting this in the Street Fighter section. Um, supercharge your gameplay. Collect, customize, and compete for the Wii U and new, new Nintendo 3DS. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Battle with Amiibo and the Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS games. As friends or foes, Amiibo join the battle. You can level up to 50 with Ryu here. So, pick that up. That was needed. Let me throw that up here. Alright, now, let's get to the good stuff. Uh, for the NES, I picked up two. I picked up a bunch of games, but uh, two of them did not come with instructions, unfortunately. One was this one, Magic Johnson's Fast Break from Trade West. It's a four-player game, slam and jam and basketball action. I'm going to put that to the side. When the instructions, I'm going to try to find them on eBay if I can. We'll go over it at that point. And uh, next is, this is in fucking unbelievable shape. I mean, literally mint condition almost. Captain Planet and the Planeteers. The power is yours from Minscape. I almost thought this was a repro at first, but it's not, uh, the way the box looks. But this is an unbelievable condition. Almost new. I mean, if you want to call it that. Again, it's missing the manual. So I'm going to try to find that if I can online. Now, one thing I did not realize I have not done... Uh, for uh, collecting on that app, and I have to go back and fix it. But I need all the original black box games for the NES. I'm going to try to collect those. So this is the only reason I have this, is Excitebike. Got a really good deal on this, too. It's, this looks almost new. 
Design your own motocross course for a different racing challenge every time. Again, this is from Nintendo. This thrilling Nintendo programmable game lets you vary the obstacles, change the sequence of events, and increase the racing challenge time and time again. You'll start out in a Nintendo design preliminary race and move through a series of increasingly difficult challenge races. You'll face crazy curves, hairpin turns, daredevil jumps, and some very fierce motocross competition as you race your bike towards the checkered flag. This thrilling test of driving strategy and skill will keep you riveted to the screen for hours. It's for use with the Nintendo Entertainment System, and uh, it's from the Programmable series. Again, we have the Excite Bike for the NES. Let me throw this over here for now. Next up, really surprised to see this. Really excited. Wheel of Fortune featuring Vanna White. This is a tough one to find complete. Over 2,000 new puzzles, all new graphics from Game Tech. He actually made a joke, uh, and I laughed. He said, all new graphics. And, you know, we're talking about a 35-year-old game almost. So get in the game. The all-new edition of Wheel of Fortune features Vanna White, the most popular game show hostess ever, and includes over 2,000 all-new questions. New and enhanced graphics, along with improved gameplay, bring you the most exciting version ever of America's favorite game show. Play against the computer or against up to three friends. Spin the wheel, buy a vowel, or attempt to solve the puzzle. Only Vanna knows what lies behind the tiles. Watching your favorite game show is fun, but with Game Tech's Wheel of Fortune, you don't just watch it, you live it. So I picked up that. This is complete. Next up for the NES, I have it for the Game Boy. I have to have it for the NES now. It's uh, from Kemco and Sika. We have the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Uh, our hero Bugs Bunny needs your help on daring quest to rescue his main squeeze. Honey Bunny, caught in the clutches of those despicable Looney Tunes characters, Daffy Duck, Yosemite Sam, Sylvester, and Wile E. Coyote. Suffer and succotash. Hop from one spooky room to another, chase up creaking stairs and slide down rusty pipes. To get to Honey, remember the secret passwords, then collect all the carrots you find. But hurry, before you can say what's up, Doc, those rascals are on your cottontail. Bugs can throw a good rabbit punch in a pinch, but for added protection, you can use some unusual objects like boxing gloves, cargo crates, and water buckets. And that's not all. After a drink from the magic bottle, nothing will stop you. With a deft wrist, a quick wit, and a swift kick, you will win the... You will win the you will win the game and have Bugs and Honey hopping happily together again. So again, for the NES, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. And the last NES game I was able to grab, really excited to have this too. Not in the greatest of condition, but it is what it is from Capcom USA. Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. And here it says you can save $5 when you purchase this game. See inside for mail and refund offer. I'm sure that's um, that's been expired. So, uh, Premier Worldwide Arcade Game Designer, Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. This is your ticket to the breathtaking adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Join the exciting adventures you search through the Magic Kingdom for the six silver keys that will unlock the Enchanted Castle. Use all your skills and resources to achieve your goal. Answer Disney trivia questions to gain access to the attractions. Become the engineer of a runway train in the Big Thunder Mountain. Race Autopia cars through a maze of obstacles. Don your seafaring garb as you tangle with the swarthy buccaneers of Pirates of the Caribbean. Hurl yourself into the black holes of Space Mountain. Grab a silver key from the ghoulish inhabitants of the Haunted Mansion. What other adventures await you in the Magic Kingdom? You'll just have to find out for yourself. So from Capcom, we have Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Now, I'm going to pause this video for now, and then we're going to resume, because there's a ton of stuff that I want to show you that I was able to get, but I need uh, more room to be able to do that. So, hold on one moment. All right, folks, we are back. Uh, I picked this up. Now, I have one downstairs, but this is the, uh, as you can see, the collector's edition of the Monopoly Fast Dealing uh, Property Training Game, Nintendo Monopoly. And on the back, it says, now you're playing with power. Let's zoom in. Uh, I can't really see because of the fucking chandelier there, but... The most recognizable and unforgettable characters in the video game industry have teamed up to bring you the Nintendo collector's edition of the world's most popular board game. Monopoly. No controllers are necessary this time as you join forces with Mario, Luigi, Link, Zelda, Kirby, and others on a quest to defeat your opponents and own it all. You have custom Nintendo money replaces original Monopoly bills. Uh, custom title deed cards feature unforgettable characters from the Nintendo universe. Uh, question mark block and block cards replace chance and community cards. Include 60 minute speed play rules and the contents. It's from USAopoly.com by the way, but the contents. Game board, six collectible tokens, 28 title deed cards, 16 question mark block cards, and 16 block cards, nine die or two dice, 32 houses renamed power-ups, 12 hotels renamed invincibilities, one pack of custom Nintendo money rules, and the six collectible tokens are Mushroom Star, Link's Sword, Samus's Helmet, Pikmin's Rocket, and Gyroid tokens not shown actual size. So anyway, I picked that up. Okay. But this is really cool. 
This was the Nintendo 64 Toys R Us exclusive limited edition I was able to pick up now. The styrofoam's in there, uh, the controller is in there, but the system is not, which is fine. I have the box variation, and I have the controller, it's really all I care about. I can easily throw an N64 in there. I double check to doubly make sure that there was no difference, and there really wasn't. It was just a specific version that Toys R Us had because of the controller, the gold controller. So, pick that up, and uh, now I want to show you guys this, and I needed to be able to stand up and show you this uh, based on what it is. So I was able to get these posters. He gave me the, he didn't give them to me, but he, he uh, sold me these posters, which are going to be great for the, uh, for the game room when the second one's up. This is a Nintendo, all Nintendo Power. It says WWF Attitude, coming soon to your N64 from Acclaim. So he grabbed that one, and then he let me have, he didn't want to sell me all of them because he wanted them, which I understand why, but he said, pick up your top three. So. This is a Super Mario RPG, uh, Legend of the Seven Stars Nintendo Power Poster, coming in May to your Super NES from Nintendo. I thought that was pretty fucking cool, so I grabbed that. The second one, as you can see, Banjo-Kazooie, coming soon to your N64 from Nintendo. And then the last one, I had to get this, Mortal Kombat Competition Edition, uh, coming soon to your Super NES from Acclaim. Competition edition. This is interesting. I don't know if it ever got released or what the difference was or what. Uh, somebody in the comment section below can tell me. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. So these are the three posters I got as well as WWF Attitude. Guys, thanks for watching. Check the check the uh, store out and Drake it. And uh, stay tuned for more video game pickup videos and more video game videos in general. And as always, Scratch Ticket Thursday will resume tomorrow. Thanks for watching.